Hi, and welcome to a tutorial to help you with your assignment to find images in ArtStore. My name is Meryl Geffner, and I am the librarian working with your class this quarter. ArtStore is an image database with thousands of images. Um, it's a wonderful resource that we have used very heavily by the art department. To get to ArtStore, go start at your resource guide, and there is a tab especially for it. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll get to this screen. Um, the first thing you'll want to do if you haven't done it yet is to set up an account in ArtStore. It's free and it will allow you to uh, do a lot more things with the images that you find. Uh, save them, put them into PowerPoints, share them. So you want to have that capacity for this class. And if you scroll through down this page it will ex explain to you how to set up an account um, and be registered. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Here's an example of what you need to do. And once you've done that, come back to the top here and go ahead and click on Accessing Art Store, and this will be the home page. Your image might look different. These images change, so uh, we, as long as you're in here, you're, you're in Art Store, even if your images look a little bit different. Um, then you want to click up here, Enter Digital Library, and here we are. Um, once you've set up, you want to go ahead and log in so you'll have more capacity. I'm just going to do some basic simple searching for now just to show you how to use it and you can experiment with it um, a lot more afterwards. So I am going to be looking um, for images and information uh, from art from the artist uh, Botero who is a Colombian artist. So just start with a very simple search, put your artist's name in there and click go. And you will see you should get a whole lot of results. Um, for all of your artists, there should be plenty of images available in here to you. You could focus it. There's different ways you can click on these links and that will eliminate, make this number in 134 a little bit lower if you prefer. You can play with the timeline and limit the time period. There's a lot of different ways to search Art Store. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty simple right now and for this assignment you don't need to do a lot of um, fancy searching. So here we have all these images and the first thing we want to do is to look at them a little bit closer. So you pick in any of the images and go ahead and double click on it. You need to double click and that will open it so it is a large screen and you should have this nice big um, image on your screen. A few things that I want to point out, this I down at the bottom which stands for information, if you click on that it will give you all this wonderful image information which you will need in general. You want to know something about the the painting or the photograph that you're looking at. You also will need this information um, if you use this image when you s create your citation. But you can see here it tells you who the artist is, his birth date, the title of the piece, which is very important, the type of medium, this is a painting, the material used, the date, and very important where it resides right now. It's at the Mu Museum of Modern Art and that's an important piece and they actually even link it to you if you want to explore the museum's website itself. I'm going to close that by clicking on the I and um, one of the really cool features about Art Store is the ability to explore different aspects of the image you're looking at and to do that if you go down to this this is a magnifying glass it says hover over it and it'll say zoom mode and make sure and click on it and then drag your cursor up to the image and pick an area and it will zoom in so let's say I'm very interested in this, the eye of Mona Lisa at age 12. I can zoom in and look at it very closely. Um, so you can play around with that and that's just a really interesting feature and allow you to examine the image up close. So picking an image, that's the first part of your assignment that you'll be completing. For the second part, um, you will have some questions on your assignment sheet to answer about the image and you'll want to be using that little I that I showed you earlier to answer some of the questions. Um, and then after that there's even more questions um, which are part of evaluating the image that you selected. So work your way through those questions and um, hopefully you'll have more time afterwards to use to explore Art Store. The final part of this activity will be provided by um, your instructor. So good luck. Um, if you have any questions about using ArtStore or about this assignment, please don't hesitate to contact me. Here is my information. Bye-bye.